kids head back to the classroom, your student might see an increase in illnesses. Kim Vickers tells us more about things you can do to keep your kids healthy this school year. Classrooms can be a petri dish of germs and many students tend to get sick those first few weeks back. So at the beginning of the school year, we do have a lot of absences normally related to kids being back in the school around other students. We'll start seeing fevers, you know, um, summer colds, anything like that. Dr. Brandon Bentley at Wellstar MCG says there are a few reasons why that happens. Most of them have also been traveling or outside of their local community in some way, shape or form. Uh, and some of them might have just gotten back into town right before school started again because uh, sometimes the kids don't even know they're sick yet and they come back to school and they just haven't started showing symptoms. Some doctors say they are seeing an uptick in COVID cases as well as the flu and other viruses. There's a lot of viruses out there, but you can get any of them at any time and they'll, they'll rear their ugly heads, especially when school starts back up. Randy Mitchell, the school nurse at Mossy Creek Elementary, says that there are a few things you can teach your children to help keep them from catching or spreading germs. One of the biggest things is good hand hygiene, which is something that we teach at school as well. So we just ask that parents encourage that at home too, um, especially with like the younger kids. They're going to touch everything. They're playing with toys. They're on the playground. They're giving hugs and germs spread very quickly. And of course, healthy habits can help keep sickness at bay. We just Try to encourage parents, you know, to make sure that kids are getting enough sleep, you know, have a, a well-balanced diet, get enough water, bring a water bottles to school. Both Dr. Bentley and Mitchell stress that up-to-date vaccines are the best way to keep kids safe from serious illness. In Augusta, Kim Vickers, WJBF News Channel 6.